three, two, one, and boom. Here we are. Hello, Amanda. Yeah. Hello. How are Hello. you? Hello. I'm great. Better now in here. Yeah, no, all good, all good. The weather is not the best, but it's okay. It's winter time here. <laughs> it should be summer where you are, right? Yes, but today is a little bit uh, chill. <laughs> so it's like one of those uh, slow coffee... Uh, chill home yeah. days. <laughs> yeah. Not cold the, the, as there, but it's uh, yeah, here just chill. I, I, actually, I actually have the heater on now. <laughs> it's the first day of the year. Oh my that gosh. I put in the heater You're on. in the winter, right? I think. Yeah. So your camera just froze now at the, mo at the second, so I'm gonna invite you again <laughs> in the oh, camera. Sure. No, it's not a problem. Um, let's see. Okay, no, it should be fine. Yes. So it's working. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's working. Sometimes it happens. And uh, if it frees mine, it's fine. Like the important thing is that uh, you that, that you have the camera working. So, introduction. So I think that we can maybe uh, before we talk about the great uh, the pyramid voyage, I'd like the audience to to know a little bit about yourself. So Amanda Mariano is uh, maybe if you don't mind introduce yourself because I'm terrible at sure. introducing <laughs> people. All right. Um, so I'm Amanda Mariano, my background is um, in architecture, but I'm devoting my career now towards the game um, design. And uh, I'm Brazilian and I have been uh, working with metaverse spaces um, since 2021, building spaces inside Mo the platform of Monoverse. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> A quick introduce. Great. <laughs> Great, yes, that's uh, because normally the, my videos are like almost like 20 minutes, half an hour. So I think this oh, uh, we have so much thing, so, so many things to say about this this project that uh, it might take a week yeah. to explain. It. So, <laughs> so I just I, I just want to say to the to the people that are listening the video, it's um, so so a little bit about the story about about the story uh, of why this project came along. Uh, so I, you know, as you know, I'm super passionate about ancient Egypt and I always wanted uh, to do the Great Pyramid of, of, of Khufu, of Giza in the metaverse so that everybody can actually access uh, for free uh, in, in the virtual world and uh, make the walk through the building and and discover and discover the building without going necessarily to Egypt. Uh, but, I, but as soon as I saw the work of Amanda uh, that, that she does in, in, on Monoverse, I was like, ah. I, I saw, let's say, the project um, already in my mind. I was like, okay, I have to contact her because I can see the Great Pyramid uh, in one of the environments that, uh, that you, there's, you are so good in creating. And so, so the idea is to have this pyramid uh, as an educational, uh, with an educational purpose and also with uh, with uh, with this mystical and uh, um, atmospherical um, atm atmosphere in the metaverse <laughs> uh, I appreciate that so yeah so exact so maybe uh, maybe you want to walk through a little bit the the, 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 the the project but just just for you to to say like Amanda how What's what's going on with the environment? What, how how is how beautiful? I mean, this is beautiful. So great job! <laughs> and I'll, maybe, I'm, I'm really happy. Maybe yeah. you'd like to share how you did this with the, with the audience and what inspired you and, and things like this. Sure. Uh, I think the first point was the getting the references um, that we we gathered. Um, so it was like um, the big, the biggest reference was the game journey that have beautiful dunes and I really enjoy the, the sand there, how they make the sand. Um, so I try to use that um, technique, um, not exactly that technique, but a little similar. And also we have the reference of um, the Duna, this movie, which was a great reference as well. And uh, first of all, I was thinking to make, make, make a mixture with this reference and a mystical um, idea, a mystical energy, and try and make it um, very atmospheric and like very rich. This is why I, I, I try to bring this gold idea for this environment. And I was like, I was thinking, oh, it could be awesome if we spawn points in a not exactly inside the, the pyramids, but like a little far from it, and we see it in the 
the dark far away, so it makes people like, oh, okay, let's explore it. <laughs> let's explore it. So I really like this idea to um, give a little bit of mysteries, like, oh, what we have there? Let's try to find, figure out what we have there. Um, so um, that's it. We have like a little teleport, so because I think sometimes we will not want to walk a lot of, a lot of that. So, so, yeah, exactly. Um, so, yeah, exactly. So, the, so the, I was trying. Go on, go on, sorry, go on. Sorry. No, no, go on. Go no, on. just to, to finish, um, I was trying to work with like textures and materials and um, like pods and all this kind of stuff that bring us idea about uh, untouchable things. And my ethereal, ethereal, ethereal energy, and mm -hmm. here we are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, one of one of the mm -hmm. things I, I the, the, one of the things the metaverse can metaverse can do, uh, and, and it, it actually is useful <laughs> for for this case is for, there are ma ma mainly two things. It's like first you can have a complete a pyramid that is completely transparent, so you can see the actual structure inside. You can see the chambers and the tunnels from the outside and. That's what I wanted because at the, in, when you go to Egypt, you don't really get a sense of what you have inside of the pyramids, which is this is one of the best uh, things we can do in the metaverse. And another thing we can do in the metaverse is to actually access chambers that we know they are there in the pyramid, but we can't access them at the moment because they are hidden behind the blocks. So we have a space, for example, the North Face Corridor up in the, in the head of your avatar that that's that's never been accessed before and and, uh, and 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 we can in the metaverse we can access that through a portal that you just put it uh, put it there to teleport mm -hmm. so this is why the metaverse is also very useful uh, we can access spaces that are not accessed in real you know in the, in the physical world so just to just to complete a little bit uh, you talk about the environment and uh, maybe i can just give a few nuances about the pyramid this is the ascending corridor and this was discovered by al mamun uh, apparently but i don't i don't believe that but the main story says that so uh was discovered by al mamun and then he went inside and discovered both the queen chamber and the queen and the king's chamber uh the one the two, the two chambers that you can see there so the, this one here, this is the horizontal corridor. So, so, so as you can see from here, you can see the Grand Gallery. So this is the eight meter by 40 meters inclined huge gallery. And this gallery give access to two chambers, the king one and the queen one. Uh, the, the queen behind, so if you go in the horizontal corridor in front of you, then, yes. yes on your right, they discovered, uh, they drilled in the 90s, they drilled, uh, some, they drilled in the blocks and they discovered that there might be another chamber be behind those blocks. But anyway, so this is the queen chamber. And in the queen chamber, we, there are two shafts. The one that you can see on your right, that's never been fully, fully uh, explored. Okay. We, we, okay, it has been explored. Fully, yes, it is. But the end of it, they found a door, and we still don't know where the door leads. And today is the fifth of December, twenty twenty-three. Zahia Was will begin today to to a, a new expedition to actually see what's beyond that door. Just today. <laughs> Amazing. Crazy. Uh, anyway, uh, so as you can see, the pyramid is full of chambers and full of corridors, and this. Um, you, we also have canvases uh, on the on the on the on the walls and and educational text, so you can actually learn about the pyramid while, while you while you explore the pyramid. So maybe you want to talk talk us a little bit about the canvases and what they are for. Oh, sure. Uh, yeah. So um, we have some canvas here that is basically a frame that you can put um, any images or arts or NFTs or. Um, any could be a lot of media here. Also, we can do like live streams in some of this canvas. And I think it's really interesting, the canvas, because you can do like a, a showcase um, art for um, events, for example, that you can do. Um, that is kind of amazing, I think. And we, we have some canvas um, along the, the space. Also in some very hidden spaces. Let me find the, the teleports. 
so you can see. Mm -hmm. Also, we have some teleports inside it. <laughs> the program is like, for example, this. Yes, exactly. So this, for example, you just uh, teleported yourself in the subterranean chamber. This is a, a chamber that was not apparently was not finished. So they begin this, but then they left it, and because they decided to actually build the chamber on top, the queen chamber, while they were uh, building the pyramid. So. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, this, this and, uh, and as you can see, there is a hole in the ground, and that's actually an existing hole, but we don't know why that hole is there. But if your avatar <laughs> just fell there, just, just, just falls yeah. there, Whoop. you're teleported <laughs> in this. This is the north face corridor, and this was ex this was full, this was um, recently uh, um, announced officially by Zahia Was uh, in March this year. So we just had a we just had a doubt. That, oh, maybe this space exists, maybe it doesn't. But actually, this year they announced it that it actually exists, and we actually have one picture of, of this space, so one video. Oh. So yeah, because they put it like a, a very small camera into the joints of, between blocks, so they were able to actually see how the space look. But this is the very first the pyramid voyage. This is the very first ever r graphical representation of this space, ever in the history of humankind. So this is what we did, which is amazing. Uh, sorry. Yeah. And the Pyramid Voyage is, is meant to be uh, an NFT. And uh, it's, um, it's, uh, it's, uh, we, we decided to do this uh, with Monaverse. And because first of all, I mean, you work very well with Mona, so, and the community is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I like them too. And, and now uh, this is an NFT, so this means that anybody can just buy this space as an NFT, as a as a as a as a, as a blockchain. You know what ha I mean? If you are, if you are into crypto NFT, you, you know what I'm talking about. But if you don't, yeah. if you this really is like want... a um um like a more immersive way to collect NFTs. It's like we can use it. Uh, you can display art there. You can hang out there, and you can live stream there. It's amazing. Yeah, apart from being a, a beautiful, um, immersive space and educational, it also is, mm -hmm. um, is, is a piece of art that you can buy with crypto and it's going to be forever yeah. yours and it's going to be registered in the blockchain. So whoever's buy this uh, Pyramid Voyage is going to be yours for uh, forever until yeah. you want to sell it. It's important to remember that it is a unique um, artifact we don't have like a copies or more pieces of this. It's just this one, and that's it. <laughs> exactly. So this is a unique piece of art. So this is on sale for yeah. eight Ethereum because this is not gonna be repeated. <laughs> this is just this. Yeah. It's unique. Also, you had a lot of work doing this. So. <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, we, I, for example, to three D model the building. Uh, I, I three D model myself. I didn't take because they, they exist. If you, if I wanted to, I could have just take a three D model already existing, and uh, and change. But I actually modeled this myself with, with in, the, in the interior of the pyramids. And in the mm -hmm. King's Chamber, for example, you can see all the joints of the stones. And they're actually, the one, they're actually super precise with the real physical, the, mm -hmm. with the real ones. So Yeah, like the, the, the materials are transparent, but if you get close, you can see these details. Yes. So it, it's nice. Exactly, and um, Amanda also took you yeah. very took you uh, took you time to do this uh, amazing environment. Yes, so. yes, exactly. And I would like to tell a little bit about how Mono works, like for people that are going to visit it. Um, when you you get inside this space, um, you can like press height, height, is it correct? Mm -hmm. And you have some settings that you can play around, like you can play with Bloom, you can play uh, with the field of view. That's very important, especially for small, uh, the small chambers. And so it makes just better to you, like for example, read the test if you want. It's important, uh, uh, the settings. And you can play around it. We have a chromatic, uh, chromatic um, feature too, like you can play around this. Also, we have some, um, we can play around the emojis and emojis, like if you press C, you have some some uh, emojis that you can play with and, you know, have some screenshots and I guess if you put it just in fun, um, you know, you can see 
yes. on that screen, very cute. <laughs> like, and about we have these two the emojis here. We can just just in the, the yes, front yes. of the face is oriented. Yeah, like for example, uh, you can hang out in this space now for free. Like if anyway, anyone can explore it now. It's open. And I will actually yeah. put the link uh, the link to this uh, to this space I will actually put in the description for anybody that is here listening to this video and watching the video I will put the link in the description so you can just click on it and if you, if you are with your laptop you can actually access this space and enjoy it okay we also put in a little bit of a music behind in the background it is just it's this woman uh, Middle East like singer so so that that's also helps with the environment uh with the, with the, with yeah. the vibe that we wanted to to give so yeah. amanda uh, i i'm for, like to 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 wrap it up um i mean unless this is I mean, unless you have other stuff you want to share um i i would like to thank you uh this project was really not gonna happen without you it's and good. so i'm it was my pleasure too it was a beautiful work it was nice to work with this because yes. I think it's uh, the the mystery behind the pyramid. Uh, Giza is like amazing. You you know you get that feelings of oh, yeah. that's amazing. Can you imagine things there? What it could be. Yeah. So and I invite you. Just try and I, find I the, top. <laughs> <It's> the top. <laughs> Good. Yeah, it takes time. This pyramid is 240 yeah. meters by 240 meters, and it's 151 meters tall. And so it's. Maybe. 51 Maybe. originally, but now it's 146. It lost seven meters or something. So yeah, Maybe. I mean, Maybe. let's let's finish this <laughs> with the with the with the avatar meditating. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, you actually <laughs> wanted to <laughs> mention uh, the designer of the avatar or something, right? Ah uh, yes, um, this avatar is from uh, is made by Vive. Um, they are a platform of avatars. That's amazing, by the way. I invite everyone to to check it too. It's really cool. And now I will share um, a different thread. <laughs> if you can, yes. Yes, I can. Uh, um, so um, when people um, get the space, you know, when you buy it, or it could be for any space inside Monoverse. When you have a space, you have the access to this um, page that like you can um, do some set settings about the gated assets, like make it more restricted and set some conditions. And about the canvas, we can change our canvas here. Like if we're going to do an event, um, show, for sure, okay, some artist art artist pieces, you can set in this here, like, you know, you can click on the link and you can put the, all the information here. Um, but the external URL for your art or their art, and you can set in the image or live stream here if you want to allow you, for, for example, and you can put the image in the, in the canvas here. It's very, very easy to, to do the settings. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to, to make a, the very first ever walkthrough uh, with uh, with people around here. And you know, you can just charge a little bit for the tickets, and you can spend one hour with me <laughs> and uh, yeah. the project, uh, etc. And it will be it will be nice. Yeah. So let's see. Yeah, um, I agree. Amanda, if you know, if you don't have anything else to share, I think we can just wrap it up and say bye bye to yeah. our audience or something. I just want to invite uh, uh, people to uh, know my YouTube channel. It's not like that good, but I work on that. <laughs> and my Twitter, I'm more active there because I always am putting some uh, my my workflow there and my work in progress too. Um, yeah, Jeff, thank yeah, you exactly. for inviting me. For, to I, this. I actually forgot you have also <laughs> a YouTube channel, and it's pretty amazing. You curate very well the thumbnails and the videos, so it's really cool. Thank you. Yeah. I, I I should be more, you know, consistent. It's okay. That, I mean, whatever. Yeah, like. it's in there. <laughs> Bye, okay. Nice to have you okay. on, Amanda. See you soon. No worries. Thank you for inviting me. It was a pleasure. Great. <laughs>